tough there when the stick breaks on the empty net. Yeah, it's a little sad. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have a hat trick, so I don't know how much closer than that I'm going to get. Um, but, uh, yeah, it would have been worse if they if they tie that up. But, uh, yeah. One of the things we were just talking with Jesper about is Lindy talking about how last year you guys had this real strong commitment in that third period to shut things down, not give up too much. Did you see a big improvement there for you guys in this third period? Yeah, it's a work in progress still. Um, I think we played better uh, with the lead. Uh, and it was tough to even give that fourth goal for them. Um, I think we could have maybe played it a little bit better. And, and But, um, yeah, it's... It's early, and we're all all trying to get better here. So we're just happy we got two points, and I think we're we're uh, we're playing better. Did you How like that first period, Eric? Did you uh, that? Um, a couple tough bounces, I thought, uh, against. But overall, I think it was uh, it was better, definitely. And and so uh, definitely, we just keep building. How tough is it to see Nico go down the way he did? Try and come back for that second period, but then ultimately not be able to come back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like that hit. Um, I just hope that he has a fast recovery. Obviously, everyone can see that it uh, catches him pretty good. I was shocked when he even came back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he'll get some rest now, and hopefully, like I said, um, he'll have a fast recovery. We'll need him. Is that, you know, Pally, his reaction, the reaction you, w- you would all have, right? And just to see him do that, take himself really out of the game for a lot of that second period, too. Yeah, that's uh, no questions asked. That's what you do. Um, you know, Nico for sure. I mean, no matter who it is, it, you know, hit like that. It's, you know, that's just how it goes. You know, I mean, on Jesper's goal too, it looked like you know he was pretty fired up, and it happened you know within seconds of all the penalty stuff was sorted out. Just the the momentum swing that that brought your team. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what you want. You know, when you you take a bad hit like that, and and uh, you know, I, it's unfortunate you start four on four, but that's just the rule. And and uh, so it was it was great to kind of. Kind of get a stab in right away, and and just uh, that's that's one way to respond as well. Eric, where is this team seven games in right now? You feel as though there's still a lot more to give. Is it coming? I mean, you know, you lost some pieces, but is it starting to come together a little bit at this point? Yeah, it's it's early. Like I said, I mean, we we got ways to go, and and there's a lot of areas we still can get better at, and and I think everyone would agree on that. You know, as individuals and and uh, as a team. So, uh, like I said, uh, seven games in. Uh, Lots of hockey here, and, and we just keep keep building. What are the challenges when a backup goaltender comes into the game like you're facing? You, is it a talk about thing to try and get shots on him, or is it just that everybody just kind of knows that? Yeah, I think it's probably tougher the, for him than, than for us. I mean, we just uh, we keep playing the same way. For sure, you have a shooting emphasis. Uh, you know, um, most of the time the goalie's been sitting on the bench, so I'm sure, I, I don't know what it feels like, but I'm sure it's a tough spot, so uh, try to put pressure on him and make him uncomfortable. Something pretty eye-opening stat tonight was, you know, your fourth goal um, of the season already, and last year it took you 43 games to get there. Just kind of want to get your thoughts on that. I don't know why you would bring that up. It's a new season. I mean, things are different. Obviously, I couldn't put the puck in the net last year, and and uh, yeah, it's going in this year. I guess it's just showing what I can do. Um, of course, we uh, some details can be better. But uh, we win the game, and then that's that's the most important. How about some of the saves you were able to come up with? You pretty sharp uh, when you had to be tonight. Yeah, I mean the second period was uh, pretty, pretty rough. You know, like they had a couple uh, breakaways, and then uh, that time I uh, tried to help my team as uh, much as possible, and then uh, try to stay in the game. When um, you give up four shots in the fourth, that, that's a good recipe, I'm sure. Uh, but that, that, that's something that uh, you want to see more of, right? Yeah, I mean for sure, like. Uh, I didn't see too many shots in the third period, but uh, it's what it is. It's hockey, you know. Sometimes you have a lot, sometimes not, and then you can do anything about that. Just to be able to bounce back from the other game, uh, how big of a lift is that for this team? I mean, it's huge. You know, when you lose one, you want to always come back uh, with a win and then stay in the good standings, you know, so it's, it's huge. What does it mean to this team when you see someone like Pally, who is such an important part of the team, step in in Nico's defense and take himself really out of the game for quite a while too? Yeah, I mean that's that's really huge for our team. You know, somebody has to step up. He's he's the captain, and then I'm really happy uh, Pally step up and then uh, give him a little bit. How much was the PK goal by Hal a lift for this team tonight? I mean that's uh, that's always huge, you know. Any goal is it's huge. You get uh, new energy, and then uh, the team is uh, buzzing after it, so it's, it's big.
Bear Club and uh, Cerrillo unlocked on their first hold. And other than that, I feel we played played kind of our, our game. That first period came out with good speed, and we, we transitioned the puck quick. And uh, I think the pucks pulling in deep was a lot better first period. And obviously, I think we get away from it a little bit in the second. We started with this kind of rush play to kind of give them the advantage with that play. And um, but obviously, we come out strong with a win. You're a very dangerous team right now in the power play. Yeah, no, we've been practicing a lot. We've been talking about it, but uh, we have a lot of threats out there, and we uh, we work hard for each other. I mean, if you look at that, the, the goal that we score, that we're, we're winning probably five pucks back by just being hard on hard on stick and winning pucks back, and that's that's how we kind of get those long shifts and kind of tire them out and get to use our skill. You're tightening. Uh, I'm sure you want to tighten some things up though defensively, but you know, four shots given up in the third. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, there's definitely things to to tighten up and be a little smarter with, and uh, I think we um, played a little too much, uh, um, kind of like bad neutral zone play in that second period. We kind of tied it up a little bit in the third, and uh, obviously we did some good things, but we also have some things that we got to keep working on. Just your thoughts there on what happened to Nico in that first <clears throat> period with uh, Connor Clifton there, your initial thought there. Obviously I saw it pretty fast, and since it was on yeah, obviously I want to take a second look at it. What kind of I saw it? I feel like Nico came down, and it looks like there there's an elbow coming right up to to his head. I, um, obviously, it's a tough play. It's one of our best players getting getting out of the game for for a play like that. I love to see what Pally did and stepping up for for Nico, and that's what we do as teammates. And obviously, I want to get a second look at that hit, but obviously, it's a, not a great play. When you um, get a PK goal, uh, how much does that inspire you when Hala gets that goal as a team? <laughs> oh, it was great. Uh, obviously, the PK is. Something we worked a lot on, and we we got some great skaters that can that can attack and um, surprise the the other team's uh, power play. And I, I mean that's same thing for for us guys that are in the power play. When you're playing against really strong skaters, they they attack you and they're uh, going the other way when they win the puck. It's it's dangerous. So uh, great finish and great goal. You know, if you look at the score, you you might not think, but Vitek was he 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 made some moments the saves there. Oh second. yeah, he was he's probably the best best player for us tonight. Uh, I mean, he came up with some huge key saves and held us in the game and made sure that we won that. It, the game could have could have gone the other way pretty fast if he didn't come up with the saves. Yes, sir. One of the things that Lindy was saying yesterday or two days ago and this morning was that last year you guys had such a commitment in that third period to shut the game down. Obviously, they score that goal to tie things up quickly there, but do you feel that that's coming on a little bit more and you guys saw a little bit more of that from yourselves in this third period? I definitely think it was, the, it was a step in the, the right direction. I still think that we have uh, a lot of things to, to tighten up on and, and get better on and just playing a little more simple and uh, it's okay to uh, shoot the puck out uh, for an icing sometimes when, when you're underdressed and uh, those are just things that we are going to have to learn uh, throughout the way to be more of a successful team. Overall, just your, your impressions on the way, like obviously you guys give up the first goal of the game, but do you feel that there was a lot of progress for you guys given what we've been talking about the last uh, two weeks or so? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it was a little bit of a back and forth there early on. And, you know, they're a very skilled team off the rush. So we kind of, you know, we're going back and forth a bit with them. And then, you know, once we kind of settled in, realized we got to play a little more defensively. And, you know, they're they're kind of waiting for us to make mistakes. So I think once we did that, really settled in, made the game go back. What did you kind of like about having Alex on the line with you and Bass and just how maybe that worked? Yeah, you know, he's, he's obviously great offensively and he could score goals and sorry <laughs> and uh you know he gets in gets in the right areas that uh you know get get pucks and i think uh you know he was, he was great tonight and you know, that was all fun you might not have had a chance to really look at it but that hit from colton on um nico thoughts impressions and just you know how devastating can it be you know to to lose your captain like that yeah um yeah, it it it's uh tough to see um you know nico's obviously you know, really tough guy, and and uh, you know he's been tough for us for a while, and he's a obviously a huge part of our team, and you know it's it's it sucks seeing him go down like that, and kind of battle through it. But uh, you know, I didn't I didn't uh, get too good of a look at the hit, but yeah. Your thoughts on Pally then coming in to his defense, and not only that, knowing that he's really taking himself out probably for quite a bit in the game. Yeah, I know. I, I love that from Pally. I think that's a great message, uh, you know, sending the other team that. Uh, yeah, you can't be hitting our guys like that, especially our captain. What about for you and just your game and having the opportunity to step up in that position as you know the go-to center in there? I think 
I think uh, you know one, once Sunderman goes down, obviously there's going to be uh, you know more ice for you know the other three, and I think there's you know certain situations where guys got to step up, and I think uh, I think we did a pretty good job at that time. Did you guys see the change in goaltender as sort of a turning point for you guys? Um, I'm not. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I think uh, I think uh, you know, their goalie was playing really well, and. Um, yeah, I, I'm not, not sure what happened to him, but uh, I think uh, you know, I, I think in the third period we really started you know, playing a little more defensively and kind of stepped up that way. You talk about playing a little more defensively in that third period. Is that some? You know, Lindy was talking about it this morning. How that was something you guys were so good at last year, really shutting it down in the third period. Do you think that there was a, another step in the right direction there in this particular game, the way you guys played? Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, you know something we got to learn to continue to be better at playing playing with the lead and, and you know locking it down at the end there and you know in tight games just kind of you know, pulling through some way and we always seem to find a way. But uh, I think it's I think it's uh, saving the lead more. Did it feel a little more familiar to what you guys were doing last season? What you saw in this third period? Yeah, for sure. I think, yeah, I think we had a lot. We had a lot of more comeback wins. I think last year, and yeah. you know, it was good to, you know, come out on top with this one. But uh, yeah, I think I think we did a good job in the third with that. Feel bad for Halsey that his stick breaks on the over. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to see. <laughs> <The Maybe. Africa. laughs> What'd you like about uh, your team's uh, performance? I, I, I know you focused on trying to get to a better start. Yeah, well, I thought we did. You know what? I mean, obviously, a guy falls down the first period. Uh, it's just one of those uh, things that happens. Uh, 14 shots, temps were up, uh, scored a couple goals in the first period. So, you know, besides big individual mistakes, there was a lot of good in the team. You're obviously a high-powered offense, but are you okay with the, you know, I mean, the, the third period you were able to limit their shots. Is that what you want to see more of? Yeah, you know, I thought... Uh, it was about a six-minute window in the second period at the uh, at the TV timeout where it just addressed the way we were playing. Um, if we didn't have the TV timeout, I probably would have used the timeout because we just finished giving up a 2-0, gave up another odd-numbered rush. Um, that's not good hockey. So, I mean, I think the response was real good. You know, the 18-4, the shots in the third period, uh, no more rush chances. Uh, smarter, smarter play in a tight game. Um, so th there was a lot of good there. And your goalie get, ke basically kept you in that game early on and, and in that yeah, second that, period. That, really, that six minute window, he, he made two or three saves that they could have taken control of the game. Um, an update on your captain? Uh, just held out precautionary. Uh, we'll see how he's doing tomorrow. And your thoughts on not just the hit, but also the response from someone like Andre Palat? No, the response is what you need. Um, uh, the hit was a shot to the head. I, I mean, I think it's, you know, it's a, that's something they're trying to eliminate. I, you know, I think it, it's something they have to take a look at because uh, um, dangerous playing the game. How about the way um, Holtz maybe played on that line and the way they kind of orchestrated together tonight? I, I thought. They had a good night. Obviously, scored that goal. They had uh, good shifts. Uh, you know, lines got a little bit uh, juggled once Nico went out. Yeah. Um, so I would like to, you know, keep using that line, but really didn't have that luxury. And you know, late in the game, where we got in the power play, we decided to go with 2D and, and go with the veteran guys. But you know, overall, I think, like I said, we we're you know trying to balance out the the heaviness or the the work. Uh, of the heavy lifting with, you know, putting a, one guy in every line or a couple guys, a little bit of skill and a little bit of uh, what I would call hardness. You, you use the word luxury there. Is who Mike McLeod is for you guys right now a real luxury, especially when you have the ability to throw him on that top line? I when... used the word luxury? Yeah, you did. did I? Yeah. I didn't feel I used that. But <laughs> that he is a luxury, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's twice I've used the luxury. <laughs> really, four times now, but <laughs> but but just just how valuable is that really to a team in this in this type of moment? You know, you look how well he played. He stepped up, and you know his, his puck control and his ability to hang on hang on to the puck in small places. Uh, um, it, it's something that you may not see out of a guy you you know is down the lineup, but you know. If you look at where he finished last year and the playoff he had and where he's at this year, um, 
he's got himself in a good place. And he's, again, he filled in in, in, in the other game. And then tonight, I thought he did a great job again. Uh, obviously, the line change for Holtz. Did you see what you wanted to see out of him from in, in his game tonight? Yeah. I, I mean, I, uh, I thought in the first period, they, that, that line had two of our better shifts, uh, scored the goal. Um, you know, just trying to strike a balance with lines, uh, uh, offensively and defensively. And obviously, you needed a couple of big saves from VTech there. What did you see from him tonight? He got a solid game out of, out of V. Um, like I said, the, the saves he made in the second period on uh, some of the odd number were, I mean, that was a key time of the game for us. And, uh, and those were big mistakes we made as a club. It looked like that that Jesper goal and and you know the steal before it uh, looked looked like you know big momentum swing in the game. Just curious your your vantage point uh, from from the goal from Jesper. Yeah, um, you know again, you know they don't score, we do score. We have they were in position to probably capture some momentum. They didn't, and when we had an opportunity, we did. So it it was a game that had some pretty radical swings to it. Uh, when you look at the overall game, I mean. There was pockets in the first period that I thought we were really good. Um, I thought there was pockets that they were good too. Um, they've got some good skill up front. They they make a lot of in tight plays. You look at the goal that um, that Thompson scored, which you know incredible move going around the goaltender. And, um, so you know we we fought our way back. Uh, we took a lead. They fought their way back again. So uh, we were able to. Grab momentum on a couple of those goals, and uh, I thought the the shorthanded goal was was huge for momentum. And I thought Jesper's goal at the same time uh, were two plays inside the game that were big for us. I was just going to mention Howell's play tonight, that play and his goal, the winning goal. Um, just how he's played this year for you? Yeah, you know, I think he, he's he was hurt a little bit. I, you know, I I don't think he was up to speed in the previous couple games. I thought tonight we saw more of what what we need out of him. Um, tough break when he was going to shoot in the empty net and his stick broke. But um, still, when you look at overall play, I thought a real solid game for us. Thank you.